Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of the Camille Rose Naturals product series. In this video, I'm using two products, the Aloe Whipped Butter Gel and the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard, but I'll get to the conditioning custard later in the video. I'm starting out on stretched hair and this is just an old flat twist style that I had. So I started by unraveling the flat twists. I then took my rat tail comb and parted my hair in half so that I can put the back part of my hair up. I then went in with my wide tooth comb and made sure that I got out any tangles that may have been in my hair and I made sure to do this in both of those sections. I then went in with my rat tail comb again and starting at where my widow peak is I made a diagonal part on one side and then I did the same thing on the other side to make a section with a triangular shape. After that, I made a small section in the front of that triangular shape section, and then I went in and detangled it a bit. I added in the conditioning custard, which was a mistake on my part. <laughs> and then I added in the aloe whipped butter gel, really focusing that product on the ends of my hair because my hair was pretty dry. And y'all, this product smells so good. Just like other Camaro's Naturals products, this product definitely smelled like a dessert. I then took a small brush just to smooth the roots of my hair and then I used one of those elastic bands just to wrap around that section and I really prefer to use these elastic bands because they do not pull on my hair and they're really easy to take out. I then went ahead and repeated this process and I had a total of three sections within that triangular section of hair. Once I finished with those three sections, I then just made a straight back braid and basically I just combined all of those sections as I braided my hair back. Once that was done, I made another diagonal part and I went ahead and put up the section of hair that I wasn't using. And then I took some of that aloe whipped um, butter gel and put it on the roots of my hair to smooth it out. And again, brushed it in using that small brush. And then I made a flat twist. I then went ahead and repeated this process for that other section of hair. I repeated all of those steps on the other side of my hair and then I took a ponytail holder and just put my hair into a ponytail. And y'all, a sister was tired, okay? My arms was tired, my neck was tired. <laughs> but after putting my hair into the ponytail, I then took a good number of bobby pins and just put my hair into a bun.
Of course, no style is complete without doing your edges. So I went ahead and added some edge control and then used my edge toothbrush <laughs> and brushed my edges. After that, I wrapped my hair with a scarf, really focusing on the edges of my hair, and I left it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. While my edges are setting, y'all, I just wanna say that reading is so fundamental, okay? So at the beginning of the video, you remember me showing you the conditioning custard, right? So the name is very deceiving. When I think of conditioning custard, I think of like a styling product. So me thinking it's a styling product, I start using it like a styling product. However, on the back of this product, <laughs> it tells you to apply it to wet hair and rinse it out after five to 10 minutes. Y'all, this is an actual conditioner. It is not a styling product. So please don't be like me. Read the instructions on the back of your um, products if you've never used them before, just to make sure you're using them correctly before you use them. After the time was up, I went ahead and took off my scarf and my edges were definitely laid. <laughs> so after this, I wanted to add a little something something to my hair. So I decided to add these hair accessories. I got this from my local beauty supply store for like 99 cents and I added quite a few just to make my hair pop. Um, but yeah, this is essentially the hairstyle. It actually turned out way better than I thought that it would. It was honestly just like a thought that I had when I woke up that morning and I decided to go ahead and try to execute it. And it definitely came out way better than I expected. If you like the way that this hairstyle turned out, definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are. Is it cute? Is it hot or not? <laughs> also, y'all, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And when you do, hit the bell for notifications. And I will see y'all in my next video. And as always, stay dazzling.